So let's dig deeper into what is Baroque. Now, Baroque, as I said, is a general term for 17th century art, but the term itself is kind of problematic. The period encompasses a broad range of styles and genres, from painting to sculpture to architecture, and we will see differences between Catholic and Protestant Baroque styles, primarily between Italy and Spain on the Catholic side and Northern Europe on the Protestant side. Now, the term Barocio actually comes from the Portuguese term for an irregularly shaped pearl. It's beautiful, but it's not quite everything, if that makes sense. Critics originally did not like the style. They said it wasn't as good as the Renaissance, and eventually the critics begin to like it, but not before the term sets in. You see, from an art historical perspective, there are two periods of time where we believe that all great art emerges, and that would be the classical, the Greeks, and to some extent the Romans, and then the Renaissance, and specifically the Italian Renaissance. Anything else, well, it has to be lesser. There's a lot of story to that. It has to do with Giorgio Vasari and others, but that's where we stand. Now, what we will see is art that is full of complex and dramatic images. Uh, they're going to be embracing dynamicism and theatricality. We're going to see elaborate detail and usually very large images. In fact, the images that we see here, this is Andrea Mantegna on the left, that uh, ceiling of the Camera Picta, which is looked at as incredible perspective, incredible use of foreshortening and illusion. And then we move to the Baroque, where they're doing exactly the same thing, but taking it to a whole different level. Now, there are a few things that we need to look at. First of all, what the Baroque is doing is they're trying to create images that are direct, obvious, and dramatic. They are didactic, so they need to be simple and straightforward. They're going to try and draw the viewer in to participate in the scene, frequently drawing them into the image itself, uh, so that you can place yourself within the image easily, and therefore understand the physicality and the psychology of what's going on. We're going to see extravagant settings and ornamentation, dramatic use of color, and dramatic contrast between light and dark and light and shadow. This is all to heighten the drama and theatricality of the image and thereby draw the viewer in further. Now, the 17th century is an era of the Baroque style, characterized by energy, drama, and movement. The church in Rome needed art that spoke to its resurgent power, even as the conflict between Protestants and Christians continued. A new realism with a special selectivity to light also pervades the art of this period across Europe and can be seen especially in the works of Caravaggio, Velázquez, and Vermeer. But where in Catholic countries the church remains a major patron of religious images, in, Protestant, in the Protestant Dutch Republic and elsewhere in Northern Europe, artists painted an expanding range of subjects such as, for the first time, extensive use of still life, landscape, and genre paintings for the middle classes.